So getting started for today, go ahead and slide to the back of your chair and we'll get centered. Allow your feet to be flat on the floor. Letting your eyes close and just settling in. Maybe taking a few deep breaths in and out. And feeling your shoulders drop away from your ears, your jaw untightened. Your eyes soften, your forehead relaxes. Become aware of your body, sensation on and in the body. How is your body doing today? Does it need anything? Does it want anything? We may be able to help some of that through this practice. How does it feel to breathe in this body today? Does it feel hard? Does the breath come easy? You don't have to change it or figure it out right now, just aware of how the breath is. Flowing in and out. And notice how you're feeling energetically. Are you tired? Here at the end of the week, are you excited or hyper, restless? Are you calm? Just noticing. And then looping your mind into this awareness. What thoughts, feelings, and emotions are present? How is the movement or non-movement of your mind? The overall quality of mind. And with all of this awareness, we can now assist or tend to our systems. So taking a deeper, fuller breath, slowly allow your eyes to open, bringing yourself back to the space around us and slide forward, please, to the edge of your chair and have your feet and knees about hip width apart, heels stacking underneath your knees. And we'll start with the arms down. So working with some arm lifts with your next inhale, please sweep the arms out to the sides and up, reaching up through the fingertips. Exhale, release the arms back down. Let's do that a few more times. Letting the inhale lift the arms up. Letting the exhale lower them down. Moving with the breath, just starting to warm up the shoulders, creating some length in the sides of the body as well. Moving around the shoulder blades a little bit. When we're reaching up, we're also shortening the shoulder muscles, bringing it closer to the neck, helping so some free blood flow through that uh, musculature. Good, one more time, reach up. Leave the arms overhead, interlace your fingers, and then press your palms away from you, stretching up through the wrists. Reach, reach, reach. Keep reaching, keep pressing up, keep breathing. <laughs> Three, two, reach up, reach up. And one, release the arms. Good, rolling the shoulders back, rolling the shoulders forward. Keep facing forward. I'm gonna turn sideways for demonstration. And bring your hands onto your thighs. We'll do some spinal flexes. And so with your inhale, roll the shoulders down the back and look up. Exhale, roll the shoulders forward and down. Look down at your lap. Good, we know this one. Inhale, opening up. Exhale, rounding the back. Letting the movement happen from the mid-spine upwards. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. And just keep going at a pace that works for you.
Inhale, opening up, exhale, rounding. Loosening up, mobilizing the upper spine. That's why we do this almost every class. Because <laughs> this part of the body gets really, really tight. So make sure adding this into your daily movement helps with posture, helps with breath capacity. As you open the chest this time, squeeze the shoulder blades together and stay. The head is gently falling back and allow the breath to come up into the chest cavity. And then round the upper back, look down at your lap, feel the shoulder blades separate. The chin tucks under slightly and breathe into your upper back. Good, then come to a neutral spine, dropping the shoulders down. Beautiful. Feeling sensation. And then we'll move through some dynamic twisting. So bring your arms down again. With your inhale, sweep the arms up. With your exhale, twist to your left, rolling your left shoulder back, looking behind you. Inhale, unwind, lift the arms up. And then exhale, twist to your right, rolling the right shoulder back. And just keep going. Inhale, unwind. Exhale, twist. Inhale, unwind. Exhale, twist. Just from side to side, feeling some rotation in the spine from the lower back all the way up to the top of the spine at the center of the brain. From side to side. And as you twist to the left this time, go ahead and stay. Your right hand can come to the outside of your left thigh. Roll the left shoulder back and look behind you. And it's tempting here as you twist to want to lean back. Don't do that. Instead, feel the spine grow upwards and twist from that pivoting point. Good, inhale, lift the arms up, come back through center. Exhale, twist to the right. Left hand coming to the outside of the right thigh. Roll the right shoulder back and again, look behind you. Sit up a little bit taller, twist just a little bit deeper. Good, inhale, unwind, lift the arms up, stay facing forward and release the arms on down. Good. Hydrating as you need to. <laughs> so we're gonna do some shoulder rolls next. And so for this one, you'll drop your arms down. They might move around a little bit and that's okay too. But start by shrugging your shoulders up towards your ears powerfully. And then roll your shoulders forward. And so if we're doing a sideways, the shoulders come forward and then down and then shrug the shoulders back, sweep the shoulder blades together, then lift up toward the neck, forward, down, and back. Doing this with both shoulders, up, forward, down, back, up, forward, down, and back, up, forward, down, and back, keep going. And you can keep going in these um, kind of more uh, sharp movements, up, forward, down, back. You can also start to roll like you're, you're rowing a boat. <laughs> Both are good versions. Just do what feels good for you, okay? We're gonna go for about 30 more seconds and just feeling like you're massaging out any knots or tension in the shoulders and the base of the neck. 
And the stuff does start to bring stuff up. <laughs> Points of tension, discomfort, but we're massaging it out. So just keep going. About 10 more seconds. Breathe. And then drop the shoulders down. Take an adjusting breath. Let them relax. You might feel some heat in the shoulders. But we're not done yet because we went in one direction. Now I have to go back the other way. All right, so I'll get you started with the sharper movements. After a while, we can make it smoother. So starting from shoulders down, you're going to shrug the shoulders back first this time. Up, forward, and down. Back, up, forward, down. Back, up, forward, down. Back, up, forward, down. Just keep going. Back, up, forward, down. Back, up, forward, down. And again, after a while, you can start the rowing motion or the rolling motion of the shoulders. Breathe. Noticing what comes up here. It's okay if you start to feel fatigued <laughs> in the shoulders. Let's go for about 10 more seconds. And then relax them down, feel sensation, maybe close the eyes. There's some heat and warmth happening in the neck and shoulders. Good. Now that the shoulders and the neck are nice and warmed up, we'll do some neck rolls just to continue to help some of that tension out. So go ahead and drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Bring the head back up and drop your right ear to your right shoulder and go back and forth a couple more times. Just teeter tottering the head from side to side and feeling the stretch on the sides of your neck. Good. And then drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Roll your chin down to your chest and go over to the other side, stopping there. Roll forward again, chin to chest. Going back to the first side. So just doing half circles with the head here, rolling forward and down. The first side, rolling forward and down to the second side. Just keep going, keep breathing, feeling the stretch of the back of the neck. Almost done. Good. Then roll your chin down to your chest and stay. Feel the chin tucking toward the throat more. You can also imagine that there's a gentle weight at the top center of your forehead, just pulling the head down. Keep sitting up tall. Good. And then with your next inhale, go ahead and lift the head and feel. Good. All right. So going deeper into the shoulders, we're going to take the left arm out to the side and sweep it across. The arm is parallel to the floor. With your right hand, reach up just above the elbow and give a tug, pulling the upper arm in toward your chest and breathe. Good. And then release the arm down. We'll do the other side when you're ready. Right arm out, sweep it forward and across. Again, parallel to the floor. Hold up just above the elbow and give a tug. 
and breathe. Good, and then release the arm down. Going back to the first arm, left arm reaches up and overhead, bend the elbow, hand behind the head. Reach up with your right hand, holding onto the forearm or the other elbow. Pull the arm more toward the center line of the body. A couple more cues here. The free hand behind you, the left hand in this case, bend the elbow deeper and bring that hand closer to your spine. When you do that, naturally the upper back starts to round forward. So lift the chest to counteract that. And now we're here and we'll stay for about 45 seconds. We're gonna breathe while we're here, feeling sensation. Try not to grit your teeth. <laughs> I'm just imagining that left shoulder relaxing a little bit more. Any gripping, any tensing, just try to soften that. Ten more seconds. And don't drop the arm. Slowly let it unfurl next to you and feel the release in the shoulder girdle and the warmth and tingling in the arm and hand. <sighs> Good. Let us do the other side now. So right arm reaches up, bend the elbow, hand behind the head. Left hand comes up and holds onto the forearm or the elbow and just again, pull toward the midline of the body. Your right hand behind you, bend the right elbow deeper, bring that hand closer to your spine, and then powerfully lift up the chest in front of you. And again, staying for about 45 seconds. So find your breath, relax your jaw, and just hang in there. <laughs> And breathe. Again, you can imagine that right shoulder relaxing. Any gripping or tensing, release that. And 10 more seconds. And again, don't drop the arm, but slowly let it unfurl next to you. And again, feel the release in the shoulder and any sensation that accompanies that release. So we are gonna do some core leans next because I like those. <laughs> so I'll demonstrate, I'll be sideways for this one or diagonally, I should say, for this one. And we're gonna add a couple of components to it, all right? And so just to demonstrate for you quickly, I'll lift my arms up, inhale. With the exhale, I'll present a tray and I'll lean back. Then inhale, I'll lift the tray up and sit up. And then with a the flat back, I'll fold over the thighs. Then I'll pick the tray back up and then I'll lean back. We're just gonna keep kind of moving through that, all right? Go only go as far forward into the fold as you can comfortably. If you feel like you're gonna get to a certain point and just collapse, maybe back up just a hair. <laughs> um, same with leaning back. Don't go so far back that you tuck your tailbone under. Instead, the pelvis is tilting forward slightly and the chest is lifting. Cool. With your inhale, lift the arms up, please. With the exhale, present your tray and lean back away from it. Good, lift it up, inhale. Exhale, hinge at the hips and fold over your thighs. Inhale, reverse that, lift the tray up. Exhale, lean back. Inhale, lift the tray. Exhale, present it. <laughs> Inhale, lift it up and lean back. Strengthening the core and the lower back here. Lift up and fold. Lift up and lean. Lift up and fold. A couple more times, all right? Lift up. Lean back. Lift up. Fold. Good. Lift up. Lean back and stay this time, presenting your tray. Breathe. Relax your jaw.
Good. Inhale, lift the tray. Exhale, fold. And this time you can release the arms to the floor if you'd like to. You can also bring the hands onto the thighs. Stay and breathe. Feeling the stretch in the back body. Good. Then inhale, go ahead and sit on up and feel nice, warm, strong core, warm, strong low back. Right. Please take your feet into the wider position now. So the knees are just a little bit wider than your shoulders. Heels stacking underneath the knees, toes pointing outward a little bit. All right. When you're ready, bring your left elbow down onto your right, sorry, <laughs> left elbow onto the left thigh. If you do the right thigh, that's a, that's a different pose. Bring the right hand onto the right hip and roll the right shoulder back. Good. Now try to keep your right hip rooted down onto the chair as you lift your right arm up and overhead out over your left toes. Now, sometimes when we do that, the sh right shoulder starts to round forward. If that's happening for you, roll the right shoulder back even more. Good. Feeling energy move all the way from the hip, all the way up through the arm and the fingertips. Big length on that right side. Good. And then go ahead and sit back up. <sighs> Let's quickly do the other side, bringing your right elbow down onto the right knee, not the left. Left hand on the left hip. Roll the shoulder back, round the left hip bone, and sweep the left arm out and overhead, out over the left, so the right foot. I can't do lefts and rights today. I'm sorry. It's Friday. <laughs> We're all trying. <laughs> you keep rolling the left shoulder back if you can. Keep breathing, feeling that big length on the left side from the hip joint all the way up through the left fingertips. Almost done. One more big breath here. And then exhale, come on up. And bring your hands onto your thighs, fingertips inward. And bending the elbows, let that guide you as you fold forward between the legs, only going as far as your body wants you to. And then dropping the head. Breathe. And with your next inhale, go ahead and gently sit up. Feel sensation for a moment as the blood kind of rushes back to the body. <laughs> mm. And bring the feet closer together and slide to the back of your chair, going inward. Let the eyes close as you settle in. And of course, being aware of your body. I'm just spending the last a little over 20 minutes moving, stretching, and strengthening, what sensation is available to you in this moment? Noticing as well how you feel energetically. Maybe it's changed since we were first aware earlier in this session. And how is your mind? Just noticing the quality of your mind here at the end of this practice. 
Not that anything had to change or get better, but just noticing if anything has. Perhaps the mind feels a bit more grounded, less frenetic. And then noticing your breath flowing in and out. And this breath that is constantly beckoning us toward the present moment. We get pulled away from our center, life and circumstance. The breath continues to call us back each and every time. It's throughout your day, and as you're moving through the world, spend just a few moments returning to the breath, returning to the present moment the only moment that you actually have. Asking you to be here now. Grounded in this present moment. When you're ready, I'll invite you to take a deeper, fuller breath. And bring the palms together, and rub them together, creating heat. Take the heated palms over your eyes, and gently brushing over the top of your head and down your neck, bringing yourself back to the room around you. <laughs> 